All right, it's Ronald McDonald. <laughs> what are we what gonna are we give? Saying? What are we saying? What are we giving him? We sh- uh, for, we we show up to his big office, and we ha- we cannot come empty-handed. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got if it, you I got say it, hamburgers it. or any kind of fast food, Travis, go ahead. I would bring him a large tray, large silver tray, covered. Don't oh beautiful. And I would say. I brought you a special treat, and then I lift the dome, and it's the head of the Hamburglar. I brought him, I took him down. I got him. We got him, me and SEAL Team Six. Yeah. It's so wild that you think Ronald is not the Hamburglar's (laughs) boss. No, the Hamburglar's always stealing hamburgers from Ronald. You fucking idiot. No, you fucking idiot. Think, think, think. <laughs> Ron, Hamburglar there is, is a, a government. There's a government. There's a government of McDonald Land, correct? Yes, there's Mayor McCheese. Yes, Mayor McCheese there's is the O-fish. one that's mad about the Hamburglar. Ronald's pulling all of the fucking strings. Right. Grimace, Fry Guys, the Shy nuggets. Guys, the Nugget, Birdie. W- Birdie, they're all rolling up to Ronald. Right. Okay, he's the kingpin. He is the secret power behind the throne. Like Mayor McCheese is a is a uh, a cardboard cutout. Empty he's suit. the Wizard of yeah. Oz, baby. Yeah. So okay. what Justin's saying he's literally is literally a hamburger on top of a suit. Yeah. Well, that's a good point. What Justin is saying, Travis, is that if Ronald McDonald wanted the hamburger dead, it would have been done decades ago. So. This is what I'm saying. Well, but yes. what if like, what if the, you're you're assuming uh, a level of incompetence in the hamburger there that maybe he has been trying and the hamburger has been eluding Ronald for 56 years. That's fucking the most that's Can the we give a little fucking done. credit? To the Hamburglar, he has been... He's good at his job, but... Right. You know, maybe we've been coming at this from the wrong angle, because I've been doing it as a sort of deferential... You supplicate yourself in front of this 56-year-old clown to show your respect. Maybe Travis's idea is... You're like, look, this is what I'm capable of. Yeah. I have have slain your Hamburglar, and now you know what I can do. So when I'm I'm, the clown around town now... Right, so don't disrespect me as I move in on your turf because I have slain your Hamburglar, a task that uh, so many have proven incapable of doing over over the years. I don't like it. I want to be nice to him. I want to tell you all a few characters. We all know the classics. Ron, Hamburglar, Grandma's Mary McCheese. Travis briefly mentioned Birdie the Early Bird. Um, I'd like you to come with me to go a little bit deeper. Uh, there are some, uh, it won't surprise you that there uh, have been some secondary and tertiary characters that have strolled through the public consciousness on a one time visit. Justin, to if I may, McDonald Land. I'm already aware of Filet O Fish, the sea captain. That one I know. Okay, good. Do you know about Officer Big Mac? <laughs> uh. He was the chief of, he was the chief of police. Can you believe that? So, and this was he also okay? We have to a burger headed man, right? We need to like yes. name the genus, the the phylum of sapient beings that do have hamburgers. A for burgo heads. sapien, a burgo sapien. He, That's fantastic because it does kind of seem like the hamburger will steal the heads of these people. Oh, That's yeah. not great. He is a hamburger head man for sure. And I do want to, I want to send you guys this picture of this is a playground piece that, uh, was that, uh, Officer Big Mac w- was styled after. And it is basically, if you can ima- imagine a jail for it's a dog hamburger jail for dogs huh. that is made out of a ha- huge hamburger head. Just Google that but one. What do you, I don't wanna, what do you put in there? Kids, the Happy Meal oh. Gang, the Happy Meal Gang was like I, I think was were joined by the McNugget McNugget Buddies. These are just like some kids that work there. But let me hit you with this: around the time that the Shamrock Shake came out, Grimace found that he had an uncle. Uh-huh. And this uncle's name was Uncle O'Grimacy. No. <laughs> It's nothing, McDonald's. Hand to God, <laughs> and Uncle O'Grimacy. Oh, man. Here's here's one from Wikipedia. It says, Vulture, an unnamed vulture who spoke in a monotone voice. No problems there. Seems, seems about right. Here's the last one. 
this is my f- fucking flavor though. I am hungry. I A M is the first name. Hungry. A short lived McDonald Land character. He died? Who was in <laughs> sadly. <laughs> he was introduced in nineteen ninety eight, was dropped in two thousand one, self proclaimed as the vice president of snacking. The character was a floating, fast moving green fuzzball with orange arms and a monstrous face. What? What? And a fast floating green fuzzball no, with orange you. arms and a monstrous face. I am hungry. Right. That will- He's the vice president of snacking. Now, who's the president of snacking? Yeah. Well, I don't know. You tell me. But he wasn't Probably willing to Ronald. take on that level of responsibility. Absolutely not. He's a very busy man. He loves his family and his mistress. He doesn't have that kind of time. <laughs> man, uh, if we have Before we get corrected, if we- I just want to say it's Captain Crook. Who pilots the SS Filet of Fish? Huh, please don't yell at me, okay, everyone. He steals Filet of Fish sandwiches, just like Hamburglar. Hamburglar steals from the land. Captain Crook steals from the ocean. Okay. If we if we have not in our nearly 500 episode history done this exact segment, I will shove my own shoes up my butt. <laughs> We've not talked about these specific okay. characters. We have talked about McDonald Land. It is a huge part of our childhood. It's a big Indeed. part of it. Big part of it. 